Okay, welcome everyone in TESOL Zoom Room and in our EVO YouTube channel. The presentation is about to begin. This session will be recorded and will last 90 minutes. Uh, and we are a little bit over time, so we hope that we can make it. We will try. Uh, please keep your mic muted during the presentation and turn off web cameras. If you have a question or comment, please enter it in the chat during the presentation with the name of the presenter that the question is for, and it will be addressed by the presenter at the end. Three current EVO coordinators, Cheryl McCoy, our EVO head lead coordinator for this year, Natasha Bozic Grodzic, will be monitoring the chat in Zoom. And long-term EVO co coordinator, Van Stevens, is monitoring the EVO YouTube channel for questions for the presenters. All participants in today's event will have access to the recorded version, which will be available within one week after the live event. TESOL, International Association's Computer Assisted Language Learning Interest Section, or CALIS, and the Electronic Village Online, EVO, are pleased to present this webinar entitled EVO, 20 Years of Free Professional Development in Online Teaching and Learning for English Language Teachers Worldwide. We have several speakers and I will introduce them in a minute. We are very pleased to welcome all of you to this webinar. My name is Christine Bauer Ramazani. I'm a co-founder of EVO and I will be your moderator for today's event. The co-host and helper with this event is Nellie Deutsch, former EVO head lead coordinator and current EVO lead coordinator, as well as Van Stevens. Welcome to the program and let's get started. Please move the slide. It is my great pleasure and honor to welcome you to this TESOL webinar where we celebrate the 20th anniversary of EVO sessions. The Electronic Village was online. EVO was founded 21 years ago as an extension of the face-to-face -face Electronic Village of TESOL. And we had 10 sessions offered for the first time in 2001. First, I want to thank TESOL, especially Nancy Flores and Lisa Dyson for the support they have provided for this seminar, for this webinar, and for the special anniversary flag, which you will see on the left side there. It was supposed to be displayed at TESOL in Denver in 2020, but wasn't because of the pandemic. We hope to display it in Pittsburgh this year, this coming year. My thanks also go to the call interest section, which is where EVO was started and which has provided uh, a lot of support over the past 20 years. I'm honored to be able to welcome to this event my co-founders of EVO from the call interest section, Susan Gare and Tom Robb and the other 11 lead coordinators of EVO, all hailing from different parts of the world. Elizabeth Hansen-Smith, Daphne Gonzalez, Joanne Miller, Aidan Ye, Carla Arena, Nina Liakos, Barak Akadar, Nellie Deutsch, Carolina Guitrago, Martha Ramirez, and Van Stevens. I am extremely grateful for their extraordinary service over the past 20 years. Their voluntary service, countless hours dedicated to organizing coordinators and moderators within EVO, and keeping everyone focused on one goal, which is providing quality online teaching and learning, have kept EVO running and growing by leaps and bounds. We now number 53,000 participants from all corners of the world. Without the spirit of these coordinators, their transformational ideas, their dedication and ongoing commitment, EVO could not have gone on for as long as it has. Please know that I'm extremely proud of you and your accomplishments for EVO. Next. 
let me give you a brief overview over this webinar. As you can guess, a project like EVO, which focuses on online or distance teaching and learning, has become more relevant and significant than ever during the pandemic of 2020 and 2021. With a great need for free professional development in online teaching and learning for English language teachers worldwide, EVO provides exactly what teachers need and needed. Despite the many doubts, questions, and criticisms of online learning and teaching, it is clear that that is here to stay. And EVO will continue to play a major role in providing professional development of English teachers worldwide. Of course, one of its major attractions is that it's free. And another one is its credential for quality by being directly connected to and sponsored by the call interest section of TESOL. Today, you will hear a little more about what led to the founding of EVO from co-founder Tom Robb. Then co-founder Susan Gare and I will share some of the principles and organization behind the first 10 sessions of EVO. These principles are still the backbone of EVO today. After that, the 11 EVO coordinators will share with you what contributions they made to EVO and what transformations they effected in EVO and online teaching and learning for English teachers worldwide. Next, Tom Robb. Hello, I'm here. Um, actually, I'm honored to be asked to speak first because actually I didn't have all that much to do with it except I sort of kickstarted. I was the paper pusher, so to speak. Um, I was chair of the call intersection at the time and Leslie Hammersmith had pounded out a document to apply for a grant from TESOL and um, it didn't go through that year for some reason and I ended up having to submit it. So I tweaked it and submitted it. And that was basically my entire role in this because um, other people uh, like Susan and Christine took over and actually implemented it. I, it's been really a wonderful uh, outreach uh, for TESOL and for the call IS among, because TESOL basically almost everything is paid. Uh, so if you aren't a member, you don't take a, get advantage of it, but the call interest section is different. Now, uh, next please. Okay. Um, I don't have much more to say about that, but I have been active in call and here are some of my activities and uh, can you just hit next, 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 uh, Jane, please. So these are the, some of the things that uh, I've done mainly for Moodle. Uh, and then um, mreader.org is software for extensive reading, which has about 100,000 users around the world. And uh, just today, some uh, teacher in Indonesia said the principal walked in while all the students were reading books, was so impressed, said next year, extensive reading is going to be part of the curriculum. <coughs> and um, peer eval is for uh, online uh, live interactive evaluation of students when they're giving presentations. And then Extensive Reading Foundation, that's another hat I wear uh, to promote extensive reading. And uh, that's all I really uh, should say. Uh, time is limited and we're already a bit late. So thank you. And I look forward to hearing what other people have to say during this great event. And thank you, Christine, for mothering this whole event through for so many months. <laughs> Yes, well, thank you, Tom, for getting it all started in 90, 1998 and 1999. I will talk a little bit more about the foundation year of EVO in 2000, and then our co-founder, Susan Gare, and I will review EVO then and now in 2021. After the call IS gave the go-ahead for the concept of EVO sessions, uh, I remember Susan, Tom, and me meeting after the Call IS open meeting at the TESOL convention in Vancouver, Canada, and Susan saying, so who is going to be our leader? Um, she asked twice, and well, I had just authored and taught my own online distance uh, course on computer-assisted language learning at St. Michael's College. I built it based on extensive research uh, regarding the principles of online learning and teaching. I had also experimented with uh, free course delivery platforms, 
Uh, and so I felt I had a bit of experience as a background and said, okay, I will lead this project. So here's what we did. Our sessions were going to be delivered asynchronously in distance mode with weekly real-time live synchronous chats. We decided to use only free, not for pay sites and tools. And that has stayed the same. Since I had used Yahoo Groups as a learning management system, we decided to use it for our team discussions around organizing this project. Tom was located in Japan and is still there. Susan in California and I am in Vermont. Thus we span 12 or 13 different time zones. We discussed our plans uh, and set up EVO through Yahoo Messenger's chat and we used audio chat and occasionally even the video function 20, 21 years ago. Uh, just as we still do today, we sent out a call for proposals for the first EVO session to be held in conjunction with the 2001 PSO convention in St. Louis, Missouri. Now, this is different from what we do these days. Our motto back then was, if you can't come to the conference, now the conference can come to you. Two weeks before and during the TESOL convention, we hosted something called TESOL Discuss. It was a discussion site in Yahoo Groups. And one week after TESOL, which was called TESOL Follow Up. Um, of the proposals we presented, uh, of the proposals we received, we accepted 10 for our sessions, and all were held in conjunction with interest section, academic sessions, intersection sessions, or strands of the TESOL convention. And next, Susan will talk more about the heart of EVO, which is the training of moderators. Hi, can everybody see me okay? Because I don't see myself, so. <laughs> can you see me, Christine? Um, there are so many people here, I don't okay. see now. All right. We, we, we can saw see you. We see you. Okay. We see okay. you. I'm, see there. I'm there somewhere. Okay, great. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, it was a lot of discussion with TESOL how to set up this EVO because we all have our own versions of what we wanted to do. So it did take quite a few back and forth with TESOL to get it set up. And originally it was supposed to be an extension to the conference, if I remember correctly. And yeah. we used Blackboard. Um, which was a problem because we were training the moderators and Yahoo groups and Yahoo messengers, but we were running the actual EVO on Blackboard. So there was a there was a problem getting people onboarded into Blackboard correctly after having gone through the Yahoo groups and messengers. But we all got there. We had 10 sessions and we had 120 participants, which was pretty darn good in 2001. Um, the link for the 10 sessions will be on Christine's slide, which will be next. So what am I doing now? For, as a result of having started this, I uh, then just got into a lot of working with teachers on online training and uh, became the Katisal president, retired from face-to-face -face teaching. And now I work as a consultant around the world for the US State Department and world education. So that's where I am today. And I'll turn it over to Christine now. Yeah, thank you, Susan. Uh, so all of us are now retired, including myself. I just retired from St. Michael's College, and uh, uh, but I'm not retired from EVO. I will continue there, and it is it has been uh, an ongoing inspiration, source of inspiration for me. So I will keep going there. Um, so now we have EVO uh, 2021. Actually, the link to the first 10 sessions was on Susan's slide. So here is the link to this year's uh, sessions, 2021, of which we had 19 with 2,682 participants. <laughs> so quite a bit more than uh, the original one. And we had 92 session moderators, which uh, is phenomenal. So as back then, as 21 and 20 years ago, our call for proposals go out, goes out in July. And you see this year's uh, call, or it might've been last year's call at the top of the page. These are all linked. Um, so you can click them. 
Um, and then our call for participation is below my picture there. This was this year's and we had 19 sessions, as I said. But the heart of EVO, which uh, we know is something that does not happen with a lot of other online events is moderator training. So it is four weeks that we trained these 92 session moderators. All of, well, a lot of them have been there before, so they didn't need uh, a lot of training anymore. But even newcomers or um, people who are not so well versed in online distance mode, they will get practice in asynchronous discussions around weekly topics. There are readings and hands-on links to be visited and then discussed with other participants and with EVO coordinators. Very importantly, during this time, the moderators prepare their own EVO session, which they will be offering a couple of months later. But it has to receive final acceptance according to the principles that they have learned and the principles that EVO has set forth. The platforms or learning management systems that we have used over the past have varied from Yahoo Groups to Google Plus to Schoology, and now we use Canvas free for teachers. Any teacher can get this free and set it up for their own course. Um, and then we use Zoom uh, for weekly uh, live sessions, synchronous sessions with all of the uh, moderators and EVO coordinators. So in December then, the call for participation is sent out through our worldwide network of TESOL communities, TESOL affiliates, and Facebook sites. And that is probably where you have seen uh, postings from us. Um, so for our five-week 20th anniversary sessions, uh, we had uh, this astounding number of participants. And on average, we have about 2,000. We've had 2,000 over the last 20 years. Uh, please go to the next slide. Enrollment in EVO sessions has steadily increased. And as you see here, we had some spikes in 2016 and 17. These were due to, uh, to TESOL Italy uh, moderators that have offered their session on TechnoClil for several years now. Um, and as you can imagine, not all participants uh, participate fully throughout the five weeks, but uh, those who do receive certificates. Next slide, please. Christine, our time is up. Yeah, next slide, I will cut this short. Uh, so our organizational changes, you can click on the links, include a mission of EVO. Uh, we also approved a three-year leadership transition, uh, similar to what the uh, call interest section does, which is three years from lead, incoming lead to lead to head lead coordinator. We have recruited uh, new EVO assistant coordinators from those moderators that have stood out and participated a lot. And we provide training of those uh, with mentoring uh, by coordinators, long-term coordinators. Thank you. And uh, I'll just go on to the next piece. Move on to the next one. What EVO has meant for me, you can click at the links there. Uh, nope, go back one. Um, so as I said, it's been an inspiration for me for book chapters, articles, presentations. I also conducted uh, a wonderful session in 2007 teaching for PowerPoint and loved it. So what I like the most, yeah, I'll go back Jane. What I like the most about EVO is that it provides constant learning and constant inspiration for to try new things and experiment with them. And EVO is about teamwork. We all work together and it's been a wonderful 
source of uh, inspiration and teamwork with true camaraderie. And so now I will turn it over to the EVO coordinators. First up is Elizabeth Hansen Smith. So please move the slide. She was coordinator, head lead coordinator from 2005 and 2006, but she stayed as advisor behind the scenes for many years. She is unable to join us, but she uh, joins us in celebrating this significant milestone in a unique global online project. She regrets not being able to visit virtually at this time. Next slide, please. Is Daphne Gonzalez. Daphne, are you with us? Is Daphne? I here? didn't see I didn't see her, but Daphne, if you're here, can you raise your hand so I can give you? I I checked before. Maybe we can come back. Maybe she's a bit late. I yes, don't see her name I, on the list. Do you see her name, Tom? No. Oh, okay, good. So I don't see it either. So it's the two of us. Yeah, I'm getting some messages that uh, some people are looking for the passcode. Um, I added the passcode. I'm not supposed yeah, to, but I did. One zero zero. And what was the rest? I'm texting it to uh, Carla, who needs to get in. No, she got in. She got She's in. She's in. Carla's she in. Got in. Okay. I sent a message out to the whole group, but we need to keep moving on or we're not going to finish. So Thank let's uh, skip Daphne for now and we'll come back to her. Um, yeah, move through her slides and go to the next one, please. And that's Aiden and Joanne. Aiden, yay, are you there? I'm here, but I thought Joanne is going to start first. Uh, but that's fine. Um, I can I can start. Um, right. So, uh, well, my interest uh, in using technology in learning and teaching have been greatly influenced by my experiences with Evo. Um, you know, being part of the Evo team from 2002 to 2017. You know, 15 years. That's that's a long time. Um, can you move on to the next slide, please? Ah, so this is Joanne's. <laughs> so it's Joanne, oh, so maybe you can uh, take over, yeah. Okay, we'll come back. Okay, I'm here. Oh, okay, oh, Joanne, okay. so you can, right. You want me to do mine? Okay. Hi, I'm glad I'm here. I don't know why I'm not. I just have a picture, I don't know why. Anyway, uh, I first participated at AVO in 2001. And then the year after I began giving a session in the Internet for Beginners, Back then, the internet was young, and beginners were mostly teachers who had not used the internet for anything but email, but they were wanted to find ways to use it in class. In these sessions, we concentrated on basic skills like using search engines and mostly used the filamentary website, which you can see on the, on the slide. Uh, I recently checked it out, and it is still available online. And you can, if you're interested in seeing what it used to be like, you can find it with Google search. Could I see the next slide? This is, it's a template site and it lets teachers or even students prepare online activities like treasure hunts or basic web quests using search engines as a main tool. So it was, it was great for that back in that time when things were very primitive. The first sessions I gave were full of students and I was overwhelmed, but since I gave it for four to five times, I found I got fewer and fewer participants, which showed me that the world had changed and such a basic course wasn't really needed anymore. And so I, I stopped. I really feel that EVO was a pioneer in the early internet for teachers, and I'm proud I was a part of it. Thank you. Right, so maybe uh, since I've done my uh, introduction a, a while ago, maybe we can move on to the next slide, please. Thanks, Jane. 
Right. So uh, just you know, continuing on, um, serving as a lead coordinator in 2010 with Joanne, whom you, you just heard um, a while ago, and in 2011 with Moira Hunter and Carla, um, who's going to be presenting um, later on, has certainly improved the, you know, the way I manage projects and how I lead and you know, mentor my graduate students. So um, Evo has provided a safe platform for online discussions on, on sensitive, but I think, you know, they're very pertinent issues. So the EVO sessions that I presented um, was the um, NS EVO sessions. And I think we offered three times uh, back in 2002, 2009, and then again in 2015. But I think the 2015 NS EVO session was the last one. So, um, you know, my EVO experience really has influenced me greatly um, the kind of research that I do, um, particularly now, uh, which focuses more on migrants and migrant discourse. Um, next slide, please. So um, this is just a screenshot of the things that I'm doing now, um, mostly on discourse projects I'm involved with. So we used a lot of digital text analysis and tech tools in analyzing data. Uh, for instance, this linguistic landscape project, it's a collaborative task-based project that, uh, you know, teaches students, learners, how to conduct a small scale research on just about the effects of foreign languages and migration on the city's urban linguistic landscape. Uh, we're using Taiwan's social and educational context as an example, and the digital narratives as well. We you know, create a digital story for migrant discourse, and this is where um, migrants you know, share their stories, giving them the platform to share their experiences. And from their stories, of course, we create awareness of the issues that affect Taiwan society and culture today. Uh, next slide, please. So as you can see, um, I'm very, very grateful for Evo and TESOL because, you know, like what I've said, uh, it's a great, it, it's a huge influence and a source of learning and creativity uh, on my part as a teacher and a researcher. So celebrating Evo's 20th year and looking at these photos and pages, you know, it's like taking a trip down memory lane, really. Uh, it's making me feel nostalgic and emotional and coming back here, you know, a little bit early and seeing people, the backstage preps and, you know, people um, getting so stressed out at the beginning and kicking off the discussion is just, you know, making me feel nostalgic, really. So thank you. Thank you, Christine. And thank you for all the um, coordinating members and coordinators as well. Thanks, everybody. Next slide, please, Jane. Okay, Carla. Hey. Well, it's really great to be here with you today, Christine, and I need to start with you <laughs> because uh, if you can move the slide on um, the, to the next slide, it all began in a very early morning in a Google, it, it was like a, t no, just, yes, it was a TESO, it was TESO San Antonio, the first time I went to my international TESO. And my friends thought I was crazy because I, I woke up really early in the morning. It was like something around seven in the morning, 7.30 in the morning to join these, uh, these uh, discussion groups. And I decided to attend one that I didn't know what it was about. And I heard for the first time the word webheads. Can you move on? And when I got to know the webheads and EVO and TESO and being part of all that, I was just like Alice, like full of surprise. It was really, um, it really changed. It, it blew my mind at first because I remember this was the first time. Uh, well, I attended a Christine's session, then I, I joined Vance's session and I saw for the first time streaming uh, in a, in a session in TESOL. And I was like, my God, what, it, what world is that? They were singing, they were with BDA in Brazil, they were with Michael Coglin uh, in Australia. And I was like, my God, this is a new world. Can you move on, please? And then uh, it was really just like Alice from 2005 on, it was just like that. Uh, I think most of us had this feeling of uh, going from disconnected and lonely in our workplaces 
to being totally connected. And uh, I think uh, EVO T, so it's, it's this kind of experience. We feel like Alice is uh, exploring a new world, many adventures, and then uh, we, we, we get back transformed. I think this is the main point. Uh, next. And well, what I really learned in, in EVO and with the web heads is all, it is all about the magic of human touch with with tech and connections uh, i feel that um it it really transformed the way i thought um i i you know dealt with technology um many people think that it's disconnecting technology is disconnecting and what i learned from evo and the whole uh, coordinating experience experience mentoring experience is that it's quite the opposite it's a way for us to connect and this is the, the true feeling I have for EVO. Then my experience, I had many, like I started as a participant, then I moved on as a mentor. Can you move on to the next slide? And then um, I became a moderator. I moderated many sessions for many years with great people uh, around the world, around the globe. The first one that we moderated together was blogging for educators, we had neuroscience, we had digital tools, storytelling, and it was always about community learning in the sandbox for us and for the participants. And then uh, what I learned from uh, being part of EVO as a participant, as a mentor, then a moderator and a coordinator was exactly what you can see in the next slide. Um, it's all about collaboration, generosity first, always. It's like giving, uh, giving back to the community. It's always high tech, human touch and fearlessness to try new things. And this really impacted my career. Uh, nowadays, can you move on to the next slide? Nowadays, I have my own company. I train teachers here in Brazil. And it's really hard to believe how far I went, but mainly because I met the web heads and EVO. Uh, so it is wonderful to be part of this great community. Thank you, guys. It's, I'm really emotional, just like uh, Aiden. It's really nice to be here with you. Thank you, Carla, for being there and uh, making those connections. Vance will later talk a little bit more about webheads uh, and the connection to EVO. And there is a definite connection there and an early one. So let's welcome Nina for her story. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. All right, great. So it's thanks to Carla that I became a uh, team member and eventually lead coordinator, but let me start at the beginning. My story is somewhat like hers, story of discovery. In 2005, I was teaching uh, ESL at the University of Maryland near Washington, DC, and I was using email and word processing, uh, and that was pretty much it. I had no presence on the web. And then my fellow teachers and I were told to register for at least one session in the electronic village online. Uh, and I didn't know what that was, but I looked at the offerings and that year, uh, it was the 2006 offering there, they had things like collaborative blogging, creating web quests, podcasting for ELT, tips and tricks for the successful online learning environment, and Moodle. Huh? I had no idea what any of this was. So I had to choose something and I chose becoming a webhead, which was in its third year, I think, under the leadership of Daphne Gonzalez and Teresa Almeida Dessa. And little did I know how it was going to change my life. During those six weeks, I learned what a webhead was, a member of a dynamic online community of practice to which I feel I belong even now in retirement. I started my first blog. I learned how to use Tapped In and Skype and Yahoo groups and many other tools. Uh, 
can you hit two slides? Um, go skip one. That was becoming a web. Okay, this one. And I even started attending T cell conventions because I wanted to meet my online friends in person. Uh, and then when I got there, I just hung out at the Electronic Village. Uh, but most importantly, as I posted on my new blog in response to an assignment in this uh, session, quote, I feel more competent around technology. I am less timid than I was previously. I attribute my newfound boldness to BAW. That's the acronym for becoming a webhead. And I vowed to build on my newly acquired know-how. And that is what led me back to the EVO year after year as a participant and then as a co-moderator for a couple of sessions until six years after that first experience, I was invited by Carla to join the EVO coordination team. Next slide, please. And uh, feeling that I should give back to the thing which had given me so much, I agreed and thus began a whole new relationship with the EVO. So you can see my name here in, in the 2013 coordination team. Next slide, please. Uh, it was only a year later in 2014 uh, that I was asked to take over the role of lead coordinator. Other team members were either stepping back or had already served in this role I was terrified. I was still learning the ropes, but suddenly I was in charge. Fortunately, I was mentored ably by Elizabeth Hansen Smith, whom Christine mentioned, who had been involved in EVO since its inception. And I was supported by other experienced team members and also people who were new on the team. I immediately set about adding new coordinators to the team as soon as I could so that I would have several people to choose my own successor from. We also began the process of distributing the responsibilities of lead coordinator among former leads who could also mentor the lead coordinator and upcoming leads who could shadow the lead coordinator so that they would be better to uh, better equipped to take over than I felt I was in 2014. In all, I spent about five years on the coordination team and was lead coordinator for two years, although it says three years in Christine's slide. I, I think that was Mubarak. Um, next slide, please. And this is the last one. So my tenure saw the advent of the option of offering certificates. Since its inception, uh, EVO had been very careful not to call its offerings courses or classes. We had to call them sessions and we could not offer anything that looked like we were pitting our sessions against TESOL's paid courses and workshops. But in 2014, I reached out to call IS and through them to the TESOL board. And finally, we were allowed to offer certificates. But how could we be sure that certificates were awarded to participants who actually participated? It was too much to require our volunteer moderators who were already doing so much to assess the achievements of potentially hundreds of participants in their session. We ended up allowing sessions to offer cert uh, certificates of participation where the moderating team uh, had established to their participants clear and verifiable criteria for earning the certificate. And we also started allowing digital badges and uh, certificates of appreciation for the, the moderators. But I think my most important legacy was bringing Christine Brat back on board. She had pretty much given up the day-to-day -day participation <laughs> in EVO uh, and was not actively involved when I was uh, on the team, but somehow I convinced her to come back in an advisory capacity 
Uh, and if I hadn't done that, we would certainly not be here today celebrating 20 years of EVO. Thank you, Christine. Well, thank you, Nina, for all you did. And uh, it may have continued without me, who knows? <laughs> but I'm, I'm so happy to be back in, in full swing. Next is um, Mubarak Akadar, who was with, well, Mubarak, you can uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself, how long you were with EVO, and you are still with us, and we're so happy to have you. <laughs> <It's just laughs> Thank you. Your, uh, your extremely good graphic skills, which I lack. So. Uh, th thank you very much, uh, Christine, and thank you, everyone who is here. Uh, coordinators and participants. Uh, I'm really uh, uh, very happy to, to be among in this community and to, to say appreciate the uh, learning journey that I have had with you, with all of you. So my, my journey with the technology started when I bought my first computer and I was uh, totally illiterate, I, <laughs> digitally illiterate. So I had to learn by myself everything and they say uh, just trying and uh, correcting myself but uh, the uh, star the uh, i would say the outstanding star was when i got the national prize of innovative teacher in 2007 when i created a cd an interactive cd with the, for uh, teaching english with songs so that was the first really uh, outstanding achievement for me. So it started there, but uh, all wh what I had learned from was only the uh, video tutorials and hard copy uh, books and so on. After that, I joined some Yahoo groups like learning with computers and so on. And I discovered, I started to discover that there is an online community or online, uh, who are sharing and caring about each other. Uh, I, I haphazardly came across uh, Tips and Tricks, which was a group or a, a session in a Electronic Village Online. I uh, joined in the end of, of, this, of the sessions. Uh, so uh, the, the following year, I joined Becoming OEB Head or BO with, um, uh, with uh, Teresa and Daphne, who have, let's say, a very or great influence on my journey with, uh, with Electronic Village Online. Uh, I, I started as a participant, then I joined uh, by the invitation of Daphne and Teresa, I joined the moderating team. And afterwards, I was invited by Nina to join the coordination team. So I had, let's say, two years of, uh, of as, as a coordinator. I really say great hi to all the coordination team who were uh, members who were with me and who, uh, from who I, I, taught, I learned a lot. And I really miss a lot of faces like uh, uh, Maria, like Ayat, uh, GA, and some people, some, let's say, very active uh, members who have, let's say, ceased to, to participate in, in, uh, in EVO as I, in the coordination team. Well, this was the first one uh, in 19, um, uh, as a member of, as a coordinator, as a lead coordinator, it was in 2016. Afterwards, I, it was uh, we had like certificates like just what nina has just said we issued certificates but we had some uh they say uh, uh outstanding or distinctive feature for the two sessions 2016 and 17. it was the uh break of records uh, i would say the member the number of participants increased uh, dramatically especially by the uh, joining of uh, TESOL, as uh, Christine has mentioned, uh, TESOL Italy for with the uh, CLIL or, or content, uh, uh, content learning, integrated learning. Uh, so it was, it had given us, let's say, uh, a great, the, the, the record of, uh, of participants with eight, uh, 1,561 participants from 70 can, to, to countries. Of course, this was uh, also due to the use of uh, some various, uh, let's say, tools, like uh, we introduced some tools like uh, uh, what, SMORE, 
we also use small newsletter. We also used uh, Flipgrid as a, as a as a tool to uh, express, let's say, the feedback of participants. We also use Trello for the management of of the project. Uh, yeah, this uh, similarly, the record was ongoing with the less number with 7,760 and 57. This was also a great, uh, great number. So these were the main uh, achievements is the uh, record of the participants and the introduction of some uh, tools, especially, uh, as I said, Trello, which we tried in addition uh, with uh, in addition to uh, the Yahoo groups, which we used to, to, to have before we moved to, to, to groups, uh, which we use currently. So uh, the small, I think the, it was the first time we used uh, this small newsletter, which had helped, uh, let's say, remarkably in spreading the word and, uh, let's say, advertising to, to what we do in, uh, in, in, in EVO. Uh, the Flipgrid, it was not very uh, widely uh, popular uh, at that time. So it was a great uh, addition to, uh, to the collecting the feedback of uh, participants and moderators uh, in, uh, in the sessions. Okay, so for Trello, it was not really very successful because um, we needed it, so we had some technical issues and it was really not uh, as an easy uh, uh, to use tool, though it was uh, very powerful, but we had to, to get some training and so on. So the, 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 the coordination team had uh, say opted for uh, other, let's say other tools to, to conduct the e-positions. So my e-positions in uh, experience generally is uh, had a great influence on my pro personal and my professional, let's say, uh, career. Uh, I learned a lot. I became, let's say, more, uh, let's say, extrovert because uh, I, I'm in my, my nature. I'm introvert, so uh, joining this community has given me the opportunity to to speak, to express myself, and to interact with people from all over the world. So uh, I would just uh, like to thank you very much for this opportunity and for uh, taking the initiative of creating this EVO uh, project. And I, I find it really difficult to, to say goodbye or to, to leave. Every year, I just turn it in my mind, think it over, but I end up by saying, I, I can't, I can just leave uh, Electronic Village Online. So thank you very much for being there and for bearing me the way I, I am. Thank you. You, Mubarak. Uh, no, you cannot leave. <laughs> you can step back a little as I had yeah. done. You cannot leave. <laughs> I really can't. Yeah, I really can't. I will okay. be missing everyone. Yeah. So. To Nelly, and I wanted to thank Nelly. Uh, I hope she's able to speak to us now. She has been uh, working hard behind the scenes on getting the YouTube stream uh, working. I'm not sure if it is, but Nelly, you're up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you, everyone. Um, Christine for and the founding fathers of Eva, of course. I want to thank um, Van Stevens, um, who um, actually got me involved with the Webheads in 2004. If I hadn't been a webhead with tapped in and everything that was involved every Sunday where I met Cheryl McCoy as well, I don't think I would have, uh, you know, come into Evo or found out about Evo. Uh, when I did find about Evo, it turned out that I thought that Evo was TESOL, <laughs> which was kind of funny because when I came to TESOL for the first time in 2014, uh, if you can move the slides, I was, I couldn't get things straight. Uh, because I thought that Electronic Village Online was actually Evo, 
or whatever, Eve, Eve, <laughs> whatever they called it. So it took me a while to get things around. For me, Evo is everything. And it is truly the highlight of the year for me when the time comes for Evo. I just uh, forget about everything else and stay up most of <laughs> the night and day after school. Uh, this is this year's Evo. And I really want to thank um, Martha uh, for coordinating. And I'm really sorry that you'll be going. But that was the team this year. If you can go on, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for being so amazing. I also want to thank the participants, um, if you can go back, yes. Thank the participants of EVO because, um, I don't know what happened there, uh, because the participants of EVO actually uh, make EVO special for me, working with um, educators, teachers from around the globe. I think you have to go to the top there if I see it right. Um, yes. Uh, making, um, I don't know, they're so passionate. Everybody who joins EVA, all the participants, all the teachers are so passionate. And uh, all they want to do is learn. And that's something that you don't get in the regular classroom on a daily basis. You really have to work hard to please your students. But with EVO teachers, so to speak, you don't have to work very hard. They're there and they're so happy. So they're inspiring. And that's how um, you, know, you can try things out. So these are uh, some of the people. And it's really about people, as I think was mentioned before, too. Um, it's meeting people. And you can see on the left there, it's not TESOL, it's uh, ITEFL, but that's where I met Carla's sister. <laughs> I think I met you there too, Carla. I'm not sure if you were there at the time. And Sue Anan, who's now part of the coordination team. There's Elizabeth on the left there in the green. Uh, I think that was in Toronto. And Christina Costa. I managed to meet a webhead somewhere else in, um, in the United States, um, in Nevada. And, um, she was a speaker. So you don't only meet your webhead friends or your Evo friends at TESOL, you also meet them at other conferences around the globe. And that's really inspiring. On the right, that I think is Toronto, uh, you can see Rita and Nina and um, some others there. Jose, who's not, I don't think he's here today, but he was a huge part of our uh, coordination team for many, many years until he got involved with the call IS and he's busy with that. There's Vance. You have no idea how excited I was that Vance was there on the left. And you know, that hug um, to me was there, my father's hugging me, even though Vance and I are almost the same age, but he's, he's like a father to, I think most of us and he will be. So again, thank you, Vance. How did I get to the web to um, be on the coordination team? It was Nina. Nina invited me and uh, it was Mubarak who got me to uh, volunteer to be a lead coordinator when he asked me to do it with him together. And that's what I did. That's how I got started. So I wanna thank you Mubarak also for making that uh, uh. possible. It was a great pleasure. Uh, go, to the, <laughs> go to the next. Uh, thank you. So those are some of the photos. There are a lot more. So what is the highlight of the year for me? And what is my love? Uh, my love is, first of all, Moodle alongside evil. But Moodle is really my passion. I've been giving um, Moodle training sessions to teachers around the world since uh, 2009 on a Moodle site that I host and I'm the admin. So actually Moodle is taking me a long way, but I think technology really started with, uh, with a web heads in action in those days, if you can go on to the next one. So it's Evo and Moodle. What happened in 2000, Mubarak mentioned it in 2016 and then again in 2017, is that um, the group from Italy who had Technoclil, they use my Moodle one of my Moodle sites. And uh, we had over 5,000, it's written there, Mubarak, 4,000 something, but we had over 5,000. I think some of them uh, kind of uh, left and there were a lot of certificates awarded. So it took a few, well, maybe a year to get those certificates to all the participants. And I was there supporting. So imagine supporting not only my sessions and 
I also supported over 5,600 Italian, all Italian. Italy, you're, the time is up just to let you oh, know. Oh, is it? Italian, yeah. okay, I'll be right. Italian participants, we had over 900 participants. Imagine 2016 on WizIQ. If you can go on to the last one, I think this is it. All right, so these are the sessions that we had on Moodle for Teachers on my, my Moodle site in 2021 for EVO 21. We had 11 sessions and it's a pleasure to know that teachers are learning how to teach online using Moodle. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, There's Nelly, another slide for providing we'll your Moodle and your, re uh, your other resources and your skills to so many teachers. As was said in the chat, and I totally agree, you are a workhorse in EDO <laughs> and we are and we and especially I am incredibly grateful to you for, for uh, being that workhorse, for continuing to work with us and teaching us, uh, letting us learn and being patient. Thank you. And next up is Carolina Ritrago from Bogota. Hello, everybody. Hello, Christine. Well, um, I, I echo everybody's feelings. I'm, I'm a bit nervous. I'm a little bit um, nostalgic as well. Um, and it's great to see everybody. I'm really happy to see Nina, to see uh, you know, everyone who is around and, and who actually makes my presentation. So can you please move the next one? So my presentation is called Standing on the Shoulders of Giants, because this is what I did for the two years that I was part of the, of the lead coordination in the new system. Um, can you move it, please? And it all started with uh, Christine. It all started with Christine. And it, it is not in Atlanta. I was thinking, and I made a precision. It started in Bogota when she came to the Colombo Bogota to train us on teaching technology. And she actually saw something in me, you know, like she was one of the first people who told me, hey, you're kind of good at technology back in 2007. And um, then we kept in touch. Um, later, uh, we, we continued speaking. She didn't come back to Bogota anymore, but it was online. I, I had uh, an amazing relation with Christine online. And then she told me about the flip learning session that Lane Marshall and her team had created. She said, you're on the flip learning, you need to go to that session. And that's for the next slide. I remember clearly that was 2015 because I was expecting my second son, Jacobo. Jacobo, was, uh, Jacobo is my signpost for EVO because I breastfed him um, watching the videos, reading the, the, the things, participating in the forums. I, I remember that. And so we went together with Christine. That's our actually our room together in Atlanta. So the next one, please. And then I met, you know, one of my greatest EVO mentors, that is Nina Liakos. Uh, she was so patient with me when I became a moderator, uh, when I became a coordinator. Um, and she was always um, so supportive. And this, this presentation, as all of them, is full of pictures. Unfortunately, I don't have pictures of some people that I'll mention in a couple of minutes. So next, please. And we ha I also um, met, well, we, we talked with uh, Christine about presenting what I was already doing in Colombia on flipped learning, and I did it in the Electronic Village, right? So it all uh, started taking shape there in the physical electronic village. Next, please. And then, um, well, I met uh, a superstar in my heart, another mentor that is Lane Marshall. She's in the audience. And that we call this picture Inception. Actually, Nina took this picture. Um, and we called it Inception, and we had no idea Inception of what. And then we became, I became part of the team of the moderators in the flipped learning session. I think you can move the slide. Um, yeah, there were great people. I met John Graney. I met Robin Brinks Lockwood. It was like, you know, Hollywood to me. But then we became a great team in the flipped learning session. So it's a couple more slides, I think. Yeah, so we continued flipping. We continued working. And today we are a great team. Uh, we have been, I have been in the EVO flipped learning session since 2015 up until now. 
And next, please. Then I became a coordinator in 2017. Uh, it was a huge challenge, and that's where Nina was very supportive, thanks to Christine as well, and Vance and Nelly. I have no pictures with you, <laughs> Vance and Nelly, but it wouldn't have been possible without you. Uh, then I was a coordinator also in 2018. You can keep moving the slide because it's just like all the coordinating uh, pictures. Yeah, next please. Okay, I... So, well, while, while the slides are there still, <laughs> I, I was um, a coordinator in 2017, uh, then 2018, and then in 2019, something weird happened. So it was the three year um, structure that Christine was talking about. So I became the lead coordinator and then the following year, the head lead. Um, that was really hard for me. It was very difficult because I'm not an organized person. Uh, and definitely this helped me try to develop strategies to become more organized but thank you thanks thank god i was with a group you know and i'm standing on the shoulders of giants so nelly was always there to support me to help me whenever i needed it then vance also made it all happen the barrack was also part of that team and then there were all these seasoned moderators and coordinators who were so willing to help us and to help me not faint in the whole process um, that I just wanted to say that I'm really grateful. And also, where am I now? Now I am part of the Flip Learning Network board, and that is thanks to Lane. That's thanks to the moderators, the coordinators that I've met here in EBO that have helped me find all my potential. And um, I am trying to become one of those giants where people can, you know, put their, their feet on because that's what I've received from EVL all this time. Thank you so much. And thank you, Christine. This wouldn't have been possible without you spotting me back there in, in 27. Well, thank you, Carlina, for all the work you did um, and with all the organizing, with everything else that was going on. Um, thank you. And uh, next up is Marta and we're having some trouble. Uh, I have trouble sharing the screen, so give us a minute. Jane lost connection, and Marta is there. Hi, everyone. Are you seeing my screen? Yep. Yes. All that right. Great. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So I did, I'm going to talk about a lot has already been said about EVO, and I want to talk about my experience, um, I guess, keeping my cool in turbulent times. That was something we we talked about this year, um, being a, a head coordinator during the pandemic. So um, I want to start by thanking Carolina Rodriguez, uh, because she was the one who brought me into the team. We've all mentioned like how we got here. Um, she, she actually um, introduced me to Evo. I attended the flip learning session in 2016 and became a moderator the following year and well have been coordinating for um, the last four years and this year I was the head coordinator and so just some reflections that I've made based on my teaching practice um, an educator in Colombia and Bogota one of the things I think was uh, like helped all of us keep our cool was uh, practicing mindful communication and this is something like that connections that I make um, from what I'm doing and my research and it was just there was a lot of gratitude in our in our um, in our messages um, I think I tried to be very mindful in how I communicated and how I validated you know what was being said and uh, you know just breathing before responding it was a very tough year it's been a tough year for all of us so with everything that you've heard of, of what the coordinators do in, in EVO, we'll imagine doing all this plus a pandemic, plus being stuck, plus, you know, stuck at home, I mean, and, uh, you know, all the emotional things that come with this, um, well, with this year. So this was one of the, the key, uh, I think the key elements that were important uh, in communicating. Another thing that I that was very helpful was going from email to chatting. So we've we've tried a lot of tools during the last years, um, and this year we uh, we tried um, Facebook 
you know, chatting through Facebook, we created a group. And I think this was really helpful. We did try Slack and I guess in previous years, well, there was yet the, the Yahoo groups, but, you know, chatting was important and, and something um, key was, I, I think having the emojis because, you know, if there was like a thumbs up or a happy face or a little heart, then we knew, you know, it's been read and it shows you who read what and you didn't have to read, you know, receive an extra 12 messages of people saying, got it, got it, got it through a message. So I think this was very, very helpful. Um, I also think we, well, I've been working a lot in, 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 in emotions and this is a book that I read this year that has changed my life as an educator. And I think we, we allowed ourselves also to feel, I, I think this has been something that, you know, has been going on for many years. And, and many of you have mentioned like how, you know, it's about people and uh, connecting, but this particular year, because it was so tough, um, you know, a lot of us openly mentioned we're going through a tough time or this is happening and, you know, allowing ourselves to feel and to express in a safe environment of coordinators, I think was key to feel supported and, uh, you know, just to openly ask for help if we needed to, which is, um, I think one of the key things we, we were open for, to ask for help. We helped each other as much as possible. And as uh, it's already been mentioned, but I need to definitely thank uh, Christine, Nelly, Vance, uh, Jane, you know, everybody in the team, but I, I felt especially support, or I've been very well supported. Um, Vance was my mentor when I got into the coordinating team. So he helped me out a lot. Um, this year, Christine was on top of everything. Um, and Nelly, you know, Nelly has, is, is always a great helper for everyone uh, through, during all these years. But I think the, the whole team this year has been just wonderful and we, and we were able to help each other out in, in these turbulent times. Um, additionally, I think something um, that maybe hasn't been mentioned explicitly, we all contribute with our own strengths. And when someone doesn't know how to do a certain thing, then whoever has the strength will tend to step in. This, this happens, I guess, naturally. <laughs> and so I, my contribution has been mainly with like graphic things. I like to design. So I designed the logo for the anniversary and, uh, you know, provided a couple of uh, certifications and then for the flip learning session where I'm a moderator uh, I also uh, designed so that that's been my contribution I think mainly these years in terms of my strength and um, something specific I know my time's running out and um, this year we had two sessions for self-care and I think that shows the importance of shifting from just teaching about content or strategies for learners to shifting for strategies for educators. And we had the self-care for teachers session and the wellness, a happy and healthy you. And I think that's showing us how, you know, we're changing um, how we understand what TESOL, uh, what uh, EVO also, you know, can offer for educators. Um, there's a link here that you can check uh, for the best of EVO. We've got all the recordings. So I just wanna leave it in this slide because it was wonderful, it was online, it, you know, it, there was great flow of these sessions. And finally, just to wrap up, um, we did this together. Um, I know Christine already mentioned this. Um, you know, she said it, it's, it's about having a great team. Nelly mentioned it's about the people. Um, Nina mentioned uh, was something that Martha, I connected to. We need to. to move on, sorry. So, uh, sorry, I'm done, okay. So Nina also mentioned like, um, you could you you can freak out when you are in a coordinating team, but everybody's got your back, and I think that's what makes me love Evo and everyone who is a part of it. Thank you very much. I can you, I can move the session. So you kept your cool and you kept us cool, and it all worked with everybody's help and everybody's good spirit. So we made we made it through a pandemic, and uh, we'll continue working and. Here is uh, Vance, who has been called the father uh, of several of you. And uh, Vance has been with us for a long time. And Vance, we could not do EVO without you. So thank you for all the work and all of the special little tweaks that you have helped us make. And, and uh, 
you were on top of things and caught things that we didn't. So thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, enough of me. Next slide, please. Okay, so uh, all these, uh, there, there's a, a, a bit.ly link that takes you to the slide deck here. All the links are hyperlinked. So if you want to note that down, or you'll see it later, maybe somebody could put in the text chat. But in any event, uh, that's uh, EVO 20 fans is the bit.ly link. Oh, sorry, I, I can't click my slides. Please go forward. OK, yeah. So anyway, well, basically, uh, my presentation will take 18 minutes, but you don't have to do it here. You can, I put that online as well. There's a YouTube uh, video there. What I'm going to do here is to try to get through in six minutes some encapsulation of the sort of trailer for this uh, video that you could watch if you want. Next slide, please. Okay, well, anyway, uh, basically, EVO really is rooted in the foundations of Cal IS and TESOL. And we founded that in 1984, 1985. Um, and uh, a lot of these people uh, are uh, that are with us now knew each other back then, going to TESOL conferences. And in 1987, something kind of interesting happened because the, the Cal IS uh, intersection always had an hospitality room. But in 1987, we called it the Electronic Village. And there's a picture of an electronic village, I think from 2004, there's a link to Booth's, Boothena's uh, uh, photos. There are more photos there if you wanna click on there. Or you can read about Cal IS too at the link to that article that you see right there. Uh, next slide. So in 1998, that's one year after the EV became EV, um, I did something kind of significant to all this. I started something called Writing for Webheads. Uh, Dave Wynette was mentioned in the text chat. Uh, he started, he had something called study.com where he got a lot of people like Vanessa, for example, to give courses. Uh, I gave a volunteer course and uh, I, it was to teach writing and grammar. It was the name of the course, but nobody wanted to learn writing and grammar. They just wanted to come on and socialize. So uh, I had just learned HTML. So I uh, set up a space for people to do that. It was a web one space. That means I had to do all the, I had to get the photographs and put them up there. Uh, this is the uh, the gallery of uh, WebEd students, and the gallery started to get infiltrated as time went on, as we, as we were meeting together and uh, going to conferences uh, involving, the teachers started getting involved with this, and the, uh, the teachers who are involved and have read lines around them, they are people who became moderators of EVO. So uh, next slide, please. And in 2001, uh, EVO had its first sessions. I was invited in 2002 to give a, a session. And uh, mine, I called it WebEds in Action. And I did the same thing. I had modeled uh, how to start uh, among peers, how to start the, um, uh, you know, a community of practice, basically. And the people who are in red here are people who are here at uh, the session they're speaking at the session now uh, all these people all the pictures that i'm using in my presentation come from these galleries either the well actually eventually up, up in the web ads in action so can you go to the next slide please okay so the uh you can see those people this is the pictures that are reappearing there uh we know that tom was there at the outset and uh christine was also a, a web head back in those days and uh, Susan, and I joined the team in 2000 and, uh, 2003. Joanne Miller was, uh, she had joined Webheads. Uh, so, and one other thing that I'll mention too is that the current team has another really dear Webhead, Doris Bolero. She was in the uh, original group and then she's now on the coordination team. So can we go to the next slide, please? Okay, so this has all become a community of practice. And in my presentation, which I'm not gonna talk about because I have only one minute. Uh, in my presentation, I'm going to, I, I show you how the, these interleave. And becoming a WebEx is a good example because 
uh, coming to webs is, is a was a session that sort of went on to emulate the way that webheads had originally run, and they ran it for ten years. Now you can see the moderators of that session in the last year, and Larissa Olisova is one of those moderators. In the next year, Jose and uh, another group started ICT for ELT, which they also ran in the same way. Can I have the next slide, please? Okay, so now here's Larissa again. She's just joined the coordinated team. So we have uh, all these people are sort of coming up through this, these combined communities of practice. Okay, next slide, please. All right, so when you watch the video, you can see more data, all these, uh, you can see all, how all the faces are fitting together, uh, forming a sort of ge ge genealogy of associations within EBO and in our network of community of practice. Next slide, please. Okay, and that's it. You can watch the video and find out more. We always say once a webhead, always a webhead. And uh, on that slide, you can see the link to the slides and also uh, there's a link from the slides, of course, to the YouTube video. Okay, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Vance, for giving us a um, little bit of history and all of the connections and the amazing network that you created with webheads that interlinks with EBO. And it's been great. So thank you so much, Vance, for showing us all of this and giving us links to explore. Here is another you. link to explore. Um, for the anniversary, we invited uh, participants, moderators of sessions, and coordinators to leave some testimonials. And uh, you can click on these here. There are quite a few. Um, you do need to create the Flipgrid account, uh, but it's great. So next slide, please. We are ready for questions. So our question collectors, have there been any questions? If not, you can post them here for any of the moderators, any of the um, speakers. So uh, there are two questions that I, that I got. Uh, hopefully maybe somebody else got I thought I went through them but let me let me ask these questions Tom were you based in Japan now I know you went ahead and answered this later were you based in Japan when EVO began I think uh, Tom yes I was mm -hmm. and are you I've still in Japan here. are you still in Japan uh, well yeah it looks like oh, Japan okay, outside my window great wonderful <laughs> Okay, number two. Uh, is Webhead still active? I think this is one for Vance. If so, how can you join? I know they have that new Webheads, other thing, but it's not quite the same. Uh, Webheads has always been active. They're, yep. um, yeah, so uh, you can join. There's a Facebook group, uh, there's uh, Groups IO. Um, okay. okay. So, we, yeah, yeah. Oh, go to webheads.info. Webheads.info gives you a lot of history, a lot of things to read, and also ways you can uh, join the current groups. But webheads.info. Kind of, mm -hmm. Yeah, webheads.info. Um, yes, that's correct. Uh -huh. A couple of people asked that. And then there was the question, and I don't know who wants to take that one on, but um, how do you, how do we join EVO? <laughs> I don't know. It, I, I remember from years ago. I'll, I'll take that one, uh, Cheryl. Okay. Um, there is a Facebook group called Electronic Village Online. Uh, you can post there and join us and get uh, all of the messages, um, especially the call for participation. Um, and I'll look for the link and post it here. If Nellie has it, um, yeah, there is the link to our EVO sessions and uh, it actually will always stay the same. So I'm gonna post the, the short version here. Uh, it's there, I've added the link if you want. Yes. There. Now just the short one I wanted to add um, mm -hmm. because it's easier to remember. It's EVO sessions. Uh, period pbworks.com. So you can join us there. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking for the Facebook uh, group and we'll post it unless Nellie beats me to it. So, Carla posted it for you. 
What's that? So when I got that question, I wasn't exactly sure whether they meant Electronic Village Online or whether they meant us, the, our EVO group. So all that EVO group information is on all of these. There's links everywhere. So please join us. And uh, Christine and and uh, looks like Carly, Carla and I know Nelly. they've all put places for you to start. So we all come from different places but we're all going in the same direction. Thank you. That's it. Okay, I'm posting uh, the link to the Facebook group, Electronic Village Online or EVO. So that should also be helpful. All uh, announcements will be posted there. Uh, of course, TESOL, uh, makes announcements, and uh, if anybody belongs to the to TESOL, um, I usually do the postings in all of the TESOL interest sections, so announcements would come through TESOL as well. And all of the TESOL affiliates, um, I posted in, all of us posted in the various Facebook groups, and there are over 300 that we have, so all coordinators are usually posting for uh, on all of the Facebook sites. And there's Twitter for EVO. Thank you, Nelly. Um, okay, so there was just one more question that I caught in, I don't know. I don't know who asked it, so I apologize. Uh, it was directed at Aiden. Uh, how could I learn more from you about migrants and migrant discourse work you have done? And I think it's yeah, I, really I think it was from Lay. Um, yeah, I was yeah. about to uh, respond. Well, I'm on Twitter and I'm on Facebook and uh, mm -hmm. on LinkedIn as well. Um, sometimes I I present my uh, you know PowerPoint presentations over there or whatever videos that my students have um, done. Uh, but yeah, um, Lei could send me an email and, uh, you know, we could start discussions. I was just thinking about, oh, maybe we can offer like uh, the next EVO session, 2020. Yeah. <laughs> no, but no, I'll see, I'll see. And, and I don't want to commit yet, but yeah. <laughs> I'll That's send how it starts. Yeah. yeah. That's how it goes. Uh, this presentation is, of course, also meant as an invitation to join EVO as a participant. And then you have heard about becoming a moderator and all of the training that we do. So uh, this is an invitation to everyone to join EVO. Uh, yeah, also, I think maybe we should, we should point out that the main action happens in January and February. So we are kind of preparing for the, for the sessions but uh, well, you, you can communicate with us, but to, to learn with us, you will have to, to wait until, until, until January, unless you decide to um, hand in your proposal, in which case you also get moderator training in, um, in uh, November. I just think I caught another question here, and that's about the number, that's from Lane, uh, about the number of, uh, moderators and co coordinators it was mentioned at some point and she says did i hear the number 300 no uh we this this time around we had 92 moderators wow, yeah. that were being trained but as i said you know several quite a few of them had been through moderator training before and knew how to uh handle online discussions and online uh sessions so uh, it was fewer that actually participated in the training, but there were 92. Um, somewhere I have statistics on how many moderators we've had over the years, but I don't have that at the tip of my fingers mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 92 moderators just this time around. Okay. And yeah. we are out of time, guys. It's 10.31. Yeah. And I've been in touch with, uh, well, I tried to be in touch with uh, Daphne Gonzalez, but uh, through Messenger, but she did not get in touch. So um, it's too bad that we missed her. Daphne, um, I should mention this, uh, 
we owe a gratitude to Daphne, not just for being a coordinator, but also for creating the EVO logo back in 2006 or seven. So that was uh, great. Everybody on the team has, has created something, has contributed a lot, and it's been an amazing journey. And um, I'm really, really happy to be back in touch with EVO. I have to say, it saved me last year uh, when things happened at St. Michael's College that were beyond my control and uh, the pandemic, it was terrible, but EVO saved me. So thank you. Thank you to EVO thank you too. and yeah. all of thank my you. cohorts, you all my, you. my team members. Thank you. I ask thank you all. For, for a cooperation. So, could everyone put a webcam on? And yeah, a I was selfie? just going to yeah. that. Trying to get a photo of everybody. Screenshot, of course. Yeah. Yeah, thank you okay. for mentioning that, fans. Okay, we still need a few more webcams. Turn your webcam. And smile for the camera. <laughs> hey, cheese. Yep. Okay, some people probably. So who's doing it, Vance? Are you taking a photo because everything's stuck on my end here? Oh. I just yeah, took one, well, I uh, you know, okay, here, part I of really one, takes too. many, many, oh, many, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. 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 So I want to thank Christine and um, I want to clap, distance Yay. clapping. <laughs> <laughs> I think this okay. should be in the recording. If everybody can open their mics and just clap away. Yay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Christine, you've done an amazing job with this and everything yes. else. Um, we wouldn't be here yeah. without That's your right. dedication, ongoing dedication and care. Uh, you've been a mother to all of us, even though we're practically the same age, right? <laughs> a great big sister, how about that? Sister, yes, yeah, sister. <laughs> yeah, we're all getting up there in age. <laughs> yeah, we're Thank you all. Yeah. This is, like, I love you. We love these younger ones that coming on. I know what it was like then. You, you knew enough to know you didn't know much. <laughs> and you well, know, I'll end, I'll end the. Um... I have to conclude the the webinar now. And mm. thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, very so much. Thank thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Christine. Thanks, 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 thank you, Thanks Nelly. Oh. Thank Nina. you for.